Hey guys, welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this very easy jewel bib. A perfect last minute gift. To make this bib, you're going to need the pattern which is located over at my blog, Charm by Ashley. So grab that, cut your pieces, and let's go. Okay, so here is the pattern. For this pattern, I chose to use flannel, but you can use cotton and flannel, or minky, or whatever you have on hand cut out the pieces in an opposite way because we are going to be putting them right sides together and you want it to line up like this. After you've done that, I'm just going to pin it just to make sure that it doesn't shift out of place. And then we're going to sew all the way around, but we're going to leave about a two or three inch gap right around the neck line. So I'm just going to take it over to my sewing machine and I'm going to be doing a quarter of an inch seam allowance and when you get to the curves, slowly go around those curves, lifting your presser foot as you go. It will help to resituate your presser foot so that it lines up with the edge of the fabric and you will have a more smoother curve. So once you've gotten all the way around and left your two to three inch gap, then you can take it out. I'm going to snip around the curves and that will just help the fabric lay flat when I go to turn it right side out. And this can be a little bit tricky so I like to take something uh, smooth like a pencil or a marker. I will flip the one tail and then stick it in and then just basically push the fabric over top until I can pull the marker back out again. And then flipping the entire bib will be easier from that point. After that, you can iron it flat, and then we are going to take that hole that we use for turning and then curve in the raw edges, uh, pin it, and then we will sew all the way around with a top stitch. You can do it about one to two millimeters away from the edge. Just makes it a little bit more cleaner and keeps those edges nice and crisp. So I'm just going to quickly do that closing the hole and then after you can choose your closure, if you want to use Velcro, that would make it a little bit more adjustable, but today I'm going to be using a cam snap that matches the accent of orange. So I'm just going to use this pointy tool that comes with my snap setter. I'm going to be putting the female end on this side. Make sure that the smooth part of the cam snap is on the back of it, and then I will set it into my snap setter and then squeeze and then I will put the male end onto the other side and you will know that is wrong if the fabric is twisted so just do a couple dry runs just to make sure. I really love this pattern because I love the side closure it's easier to put on baby so I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I love that the snowman is right in the middle. I meant to do that. That is called fussy cutting. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And also don't forget that charmedbyashley.com is where you will find this pattern. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next vlogmas. Bye guys.